Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing an acrylic pour through a leaky cup on a vase. Now to start off with, I have my glass vase upside down on a plastic cup and that is sitting on top of a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I did nothing to prep the vase other than wash it with some isopropyl alcohol. And then I put the leaky cup on top and I'm pouring through that to create an awesome design. The leaky cup is a 3D printed plastic product that you can get from my website, mixedmediagirl.com. And it is pretty awesome and makes some really cool patterns. I've used it on vases, on tumblers, and then directly on canvases as well. And it creates this really gorgeous flower look. Now here I'm pouring the paints all through there in one direction but if you'd like you can rotate the leaky cup as you go for this i specifically wanted to keep it all going in the same direction i'm using mixed media girl pouring paints and i'm using all pinks and browns here pretty much so i've got some white some razzle dazzle some electric pink a little bit of merlot um, some chocolate magic some fairy dreams and then a little bit of golden sun and a tiny bit of a color that honestly I don't remember the name of, but it's very similar to Merlot and was one of the um, temporary colors that I had in the mystery boxes. So I'm pouring these just one at a time through here pretty slowly and kind of just trying to get a look that I want on both the vase and the canvas. And once I had enough paint on my canvas and was happy with the look of the vase, I let it just drip down for a while and then took the leaky cup off and gently moved the vase off of the canvas. Now, before I tilt or spin or do anything else, I like to let that middle um, fill in because if it's a dry spot, it'll actually prevent the paint from moving. And in this case, I decided to put this on my cake spinner and spin it out so that I could maintain that design as much as possible. I kind of pre-prepared um, <laughs> my cake spinner by putting a shower cap on it and putting some double-sided sticky tape so that as soon as I was done with the vase, I could just pop it on there. You can absolutely pour the vase on there on, with the canvas on the cake spinner, but I think it's easier to put it on there afterwards. I don't spin this very hard. The paint really only goes out just a few inches. So don't worry about splattering it all over yourself or your walls unless you spin it very, very, very hard. And I like to spin it the one time and then touch up my corners as much as possible because the paint will flow where there is wet paint. And then spin it as much as you want. It's really up to you however much you want to stretch out that design. Um... You know, you don't have to just spin for full coverage. I usually will spin it to get the full coverage and then, uh, you know, just continue stretching it as I choose. Now, this is one of my most beautiful vase pours, I think. I am just so in love with all of the colors and the pattern and everything. I just, I think this came out so darn beautiful. So once I got it covered and got the design I wanted, I just let these dry and here's how they look completely dry. This is the canvas. Now the canvas, I typically will seal with Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray, but you don't have to and you can seal it with any kind of varnish or resin if you'd like. Here is the vase and the vases I always seal with resin because that will keep them protected, make them waterproof, etc. And I think these are both just gorgeous. So really fun and simple project. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.